Um, without wasting any of our time any further, this presentation is actually to accost us or to enlighten us with regards to the rules and regulations guiding quantitative analysis. I'm aware that many of us know what quantitative analysis is all about, otherwise known as volumetric analysis. This is just to tell us about the rules and regulations guiding how we can put down our information on the examination day. You will discover that many people will write so many things on the examination day and at the end of the day, they won't have a very good result. So these are the rules and regulations that can guide you whereby if you know them, you will not commit any tangible error. Quantitative analysis is the only analysis of uh, practical chemistry where you can have the maximum max. But you should take note of these following points. Number one, you shouldn't write any part in pencil. For any part will attract a negative mark of two marks. If you should put pencil, and we can see pencil in your examination paper, there will be a subtraction of two marks. Secondly, wrong units. Be careful of the units you put down. Your units must be accurate. Grandpa DMQ, molar. More, more per DMQ and so on and so forth. Make sure you use the right unit. Wrong unit attracts a negative mark of one. Then we have burette. When you are doing your title value, your, your table of title values, and you have your burette readings, if you unfailing, if you fail, if you mistakenly round up the burette readings to what? To one decimal place or to the whole number, it must be to two decimal places. If it is to one decimal place or to an whole number, you are going to have a, a mark of two deducted from your score. Arithmetic error, if you are performing calculation, you are using calculator, you should be careful. Do not punch the wrong figures. If you should do that, each one of the arithmetic error will attract a substitution of two or a subtraction of two marks. The entire values are not working. If you are just putting down your title values and you are not showing the workings, and that is why each of the steps are what? A, 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 a consequential. None of the steps is inconsequential. So you don't just take values from heaven or from anywhere. You have to work it out. So data values without working attract a subtraction of what? Of formats. Then alteration of any kind. If you alter your table and it is discovered that you alter it, actually, if it is discovered, so that you can have a title value that is closer to the uh, examiners or to, the, to, to your chemistry teacher title value that will attract a subtraction of two marks. Cancellation of table. If you go and cancel table like this, this by road you can because you, you were told not to use pencil and you cancel table, it brings about a uh, subtraction of what? Four marks. Uh, then we have a um, volume of acid used. If you do not include the volume of acid used, do you understand? At any point in time, that will attract removal of two marks. Then two concordant values. You know when you are having your table, you have first title, you have rough in any case, first title, second title, third title. Ladies and gentlemen, if your first title is what? If your first title is 22.40, and your second title is 22.50, and your third title is 22.60, if you are picking two title values, you can either pick this and this. Do you understand? Or this is 22.70. If you are picking this and this, they are not concordant. This is because the difference between these two figures is 0 0.30. So if you are having difference of 0 0.30, they are no more concordant. In fact, you can actually try your best so that the difference will be what? 0 0.1. If you do that correctly, and that is to say average volume of, of what? Of acid used. Of acid use, you know it will be the volume of acid used for any of the tighter, maybe one, then you can use what 22.4 plus 0.40 plus 22.50 divided by 2 to get uh, 22.45. If you go and use two values whereby the difference between one and the other is more than the 0 0.20, you will lose, you may you may lose eight max just for that alone. Like I said earlier on, quantitative analysis is the al analysis that you can get your accurate max. You can get your full max. Otherwise, if you don't follow rules and regulation, you will be found 